I'm going to bed. No crunchies. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Simba. It is 7.30 a.m. And I have all this packaging material on the bed right now. I just bought a new bag and it was all stuffed with paper. Simba jumped up on the bed and he's been chewing on the paper. Of course, the minute I turn the camera on, he stops. Simba. So last night I made some homemade raw food for the cats and I made it in the food processor which worked okay. It did not work good on the chicken skin. Um, but I made food that does not have bones in it. I was testing out a recipe. And today the cats are going to try it and we'll see if they like it. The cats are all eating their food. Well, at least they're trying the food, so we'll see if they finish it. Looks like Splash is just inhaling his. Oh my gosh. He's almost done. This should be easier for them to eat. It's less chunky. There are no bones in it. There is bone meal instead. Okay, well, Splash really liked it. I just opened the back door and here's Hydrox. He's hanging out on the back step. It was raining all night and there were some pretty severe thunderstorms that came through here. There was a lot of lightning and um, yeah, hopefully he was in the shelter or under the house. Uh, he is drooling a little bit. This is what Hydrox is getting. So he's getting like a scoop and a half of this new homemade food along with a bunch of water and some herbs. It's really soupy. Um, I tried to make it more like the consistency of baby food, so we'll see if he likes this. It is 8.15 a.m. right now, and I just opened one of the windows, and all three cats are sitting on the shelf by the window. Simba's actually right near the open window, but, um, yeah, it's nice to get some fresh air in here. I have other windows open also. It's just really super humid today. It's like sticky and humid. Meanwhile, Boo is playing with this toy. Now it ends up that this unit cost me $12 on clearance. I'm debating whether I should go back and get another one because the cats really like it. I could have another one downstairs, for example. This one, I'm probably going to move into Boo's room. But so far, the cats really like all aspects of this. They like chasing the ball that's in the bottom platform. They like rubbing up against the brush. They like scratching on the scratcher, and they like playing with the toy. I did not take the tag off of it yet, but I still have to do that.
I just give Hydrox some baby food with the supplement mixture mixed into it and some herbs and some water. I'm basically just sprinkling the supplement on top of his food and mixing it in. I actually did that three times. I didn't know if it was enough the first time. So we'll just see how it goes. For some reason, he really likes eating the baby food. He just goes over to it and starts eating right away. He really enjoys it. So at least with the supplements in it, he's getting balanced nutrition. He's getting taurine. He's getting B vitamins, all kinds of other things. The only two other things that I should put in also is the fish oil and some vitamin E. Um, I have to remember to squirt that in. I don't know what he did, he just ran off. And this is the raw food that I gave him this morning, mixed in with a bunch of water. For some reason he's not eating that, but hopefully he'll come back and eat both. The other possibility when he runs off like that is that maybe he hears like a neighbor opening a back door or something like that because chances are very high that he's getting fed at one of the neighbors also and he could hear one of them they might be calling him or something and he could run off and uh, go eat there so there's all kinds of possibilities hydrox came back and ate all of the baby food and it looks like he also ate all of the raw food that I put out for him. I mean, I can't imagine another animal coming out and eating it at this hour. I mean, it's so early in the morning. It's like 9 a.m. I never see skunks, possums, or raccoons at this hour, so I'm assuming it was Hydrox. I just gave Hydrox this arch. So this is Boo's broken arch, and I was going to throw it out. And as I was taking it outside, I saw Hydrox on the patio and I held it out toward him and he seemed kind of interested in it. So what I did was I just stuck it in the ground here near the corner of the patio and I'm just curious to see if he will be curious about it himself. Maybe he'll come over to it and rub up against it. So we'll see what happens and for now this is where this arch is. And Stella is relaxing with her catnip. Hello Stella. I watered the catnip today. See, she's gonna show you how she likes to chew on it. Or maybe she's just gonna lay next to it. Yeah, she's just gonna lay next to it. It's about 7 p.m. right now. I just got home. And Boo has been on a live stream all day. He's pretty much been sleeping right here on this shelf near the windows. I haven't done a live stream in so long. I wanna give a shout out to Tracy Yoshida for the $2 super chat, and a shout out to CR Barboni for the $5 super chat. Uh, Tracy says, hi, Boo, and CR says, Boo, you deserve a treat. Enjoy. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Paul Carey. He says, hi, LF. Can you please use some of this donation to get some flowers for Grandma Farrell as thanks for her filming duties while you were away? A gift from the crew. Okay, Paul, I will do that. Thank you so much for the donation. This is what Stella does to me if I sit on the couch. Stella will jump on the pillow next to me, then she'll lay down, and she'll start kneading the side of my leg. Or sometimes, her new thing is that she'll like jump in my lap. Stella's becoming like a lap cat. But she only like goes half in my lap. Like, her back will be on the cushion, and then her front will be on my lap. Hello. Good morning, Stella. Your toy's on. How come you're not playing with your toy? Stella would rather have pets than play with her toy. Right, Stella? Did you sleep well, Stella? Where did you sleep? I went to bed early last night so I could be up early today and uh, not feel like a zombie because I've only had like five hours of sleep for the past three nights. So the catnip plant has become the new cat grass in the house. I don't have any cat grass right now. I need to grow them some. And 
that's what this catnip plant has kind of taken the place of. I don't know if you could see it, but like so many of the leaves have been totally chewed off. But that's fine, I mean, it should grow back. Like this whole area is chewed off. Like this whole area is chewed off. Catnip is very healthy for cats. A lot of people think, well, it's just like a drug for cats. It gets them high. But any kind of fresh herb is super high in alkalizing properties, which is great for their health, and super high in minerals and nutrients and phytochemicals and all kinds of things that we don't even know about because science has not discovered them yet. I'm just about to feed the cats their breakfast and I just gave Stella a spa bath and she absolutely loves it. So basically what a spa bath is, I just take a paper towel and I wet it and then I rub it all over Stella. It's almost like, just like a really cheap and simple wet wipe and oh my gosh, she loves it. Like right now, right now she's all, she's all damp. But the reason why she's being a little nasty is because she wants to eat. Um, they did not have any crunchies last night because I went to bed early and I was like, I am so exhausted. I was operating on severe lack of sleep and I was just like, I'm going to bed, no crunchies. How you doing Stella? Today for breakfast, the cats are eating on their cute little watermelon plates. I have been in full watermelon mode myself and even though the cats don't like watermelon they could eat on watermelon plates the cats are all eating their breakfast and i don't know what happened to boo when grandma farrell was here but ever since i got back from the last trip boo does not eat his food anymore unless i take one of the freeze-dried chicken bites and kind of crush it on top of his food and i ended up just crushing like a third of it on his food and then i crushed the rest over Simba, Splash, and Stella's food. Almost like, you know, a waiter would come by with black pepper or grated cheese or something. That's like what I have to do to get Boo to eat. It's like really weird. And Splash, oh my gosh, he like inhaled his food. It is 9.09 .09 a.m. and I just went outside to give Hydrax his food. And it's really windy out today and it's much cooler than it was yesterday. So I went outside, I did not see Hydrax anywhere. So I was like, hey Hydrax, I'm giving you food, do you want breakfast? And I said that a few times, and then who comes walking from the neighboring yard, Hydrox? And he started meowing at me, so I gave him his food. He's getting two scoops of the new homemade raw food that does not have bones in it. It has bone meal instead, um, so it's a lot easier for him to eat. And I put water in there and herbs in there, and he should like that. And I'm really happy that he likes the new recipe because it's a lot better for him than eating baby food all the time. And as the nutrition builds up in him, it should make him healthier and stronger. Not that he's not healthy and strong because when I see him running around the neighborhood, he looks perfectly fine. It is 9.15 a.m. I just finished washing all of the dirty cat dishes. And there's Hydrox. And there's his bowl of food. He ate everything. Good boy, Hydrox. I was sitting in the dining room working on my computer and all of a sudden I heard like Hydrox meowing. I was like, what's going on? And he was right by the back door and he was just meowing. And then Boo came to see him also. And I was petting Boo and petting Boo and showing Hydrox that, you know, Boo can be petted. And Hydrox was looking at me like, what are you doing to Boo? So um, I just gave him a jar of baby food along with the powdered supplement that I put in the raw food. So he should enjoy that and it will give him a lot of nutrition. And I have to defrost some raw food for his dinner to remember to do that. As a matter of fact, I'll do that right now so I don't forget. It is 7.45 p.m. and I just got home. And I saw Hydrox near the patio. So I said, Hydrox, you want to eat? And he came toward the back door. So I just gave him three scoops of the new boneless raw cat food that he devoured for breakfast. 
and he looked at it and he walked away. He did not even go near it. Like he was within three feet of it. He just walked away. So I'm hoping he comes back to eat it because I don't want to look out the back door and see the skunk eating it. Like there's just too much work that goes into that food for me to be feeding it to skunks. So Hijox was hanging out by the back door. He still has not eaten his food. So I just gave him a squeeze up with some herbs and some of the powdered supplements in it. And when I opened the door to bring it out to him, he kind of ran down the steps and it looked like he was gonna run into the corner that he likes to hang out in, but it looks like something scared him away from the corner. And I'm like, what could it be? And then I realized that the arch, the black arch that used to be booze was in the corner. So maybe he looked at it really fast or maybe his eyesight isn't the best and he thought it was like, an animal. I don't know if he thought it was another cat or a skunk or what. And then he ran in the opposite direction. So I just moved the arch. I just picked it up and I stuck it in a flower pot for now, just kind of so you can't really see it. And uh, we'll see if that changes anything. It is 11 16 p.m. right now, and the cats are finishing up their crunchies. We had a little crunchy party tonight, and I gave them three rounds of crunchies, so each round was about a tablespoon. So they got about three tablespoons, except I always give a little bit extra to Splash and Simba steal some of his. So uh, that's where they're at right now. And then this is that piece of cat furniture with the brush on it and the scratching post and uh, the holes on the platform in the bottom. Stella was playing with that before. We also had some playing time um, with the uh, cat charmer and with this and with this ball there's still some crunchies in this ball they haven't figured out how to get the crunchies out of it so um so yeah the cats just had their crunchies it's 11 40 p.m boo you sleeping on the bed you gonna sleep on the bed okay good night boo Good night, boo. Time for bed. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.